Hello everyone and welcome back to Twal Universe. This here is my Medusa build or Sino Medusa or Zen Medusa or whatever. It's an alien looking build. It's supposed to be like that. Uh, I think originally I named it uh, something Octavia, Xen Octavia, but whatever. I'll just call it Medusa because why not? So it's a unique concept as you can see. It's like kind of a VTOL style, you know, and I specifically made it to, you know, get stuff into the space really, like easily. It has the one XL and then eight um, uncommon military engines. So, uh, right, let's um, take a quick tour on it. Let me just show you how it looks like. It's a little bit odd to refuel because you have to go up here, as you can see, like that. And then refuel from here, as you can see. Because, you know, um, I can't really do anything about it, can I? Because the fuel tanks are right there. Two uh, big ones. One for the space and the other one for the Atma. That's all there is. And if you're wondering how you get into the cockpit, then um, there's an elevator right here. See? I don't know what's up with that laser. I think I put it as a test. Anyway, it's almost done. I might uh, make tiny tiny changes as you can see I have the lasers in here, which is pretty cool alien looking, you know, I like that kind of style and well, I was um, about to show you that you use the This thing in here to get into the cockpit. There you go There are two more seats for uh, passengers and that's all there is but anyway it's just a good opportunity for me to test it because I found um, something in there. I'll show you shortly. Uh, take off, maybe? What's going on? No, I had to press it twice. So you take it off like this and uh, it has no thrusters. You can just... Oh, what are you doing? It almost fell down. You can uh, slightly move by tilting it because I enabled... Uh, I mean, disabled... Uh, gravity line tingling on the hover so you can maneuver the ship like so and if you want to go up with it then uh, whatever button is up for you you press that can it go there we go and once you're going like this then you enable the um, gyro and then you fly like this so that's how it flies it has really a uh, nice view can see a little bit loud but that's fine and that's why I tilt that uh, cockpit a little bit to make it you know easier to fly then you line it up like this and that's where you fly see straight there that's why the, co uh, the seat I mean is tilted like this so you have two angles you know see I can look there and then I can look there so whichever mode you're using you still see properly and look how cool it looks like I really like the looks of that it came out really nice I have um, lots of wings as you can see stacked um, on the top and at the bottom and on the sides kinda looks like a space station to be honest but um, well it is pretty cool nevertheless let's put the altitude hold on and I will show you once I get there. And yeah, the rocket boosting, that's just because I put the gyro on the same button as the rocket boosting. And well, I'll show you how to do the gyro thing uh, after I'm done with this. So just um, bear with me. The, I mean, the, to set the button for the gyro because you can't do this in the game options by default. So... All right, it's time to um, go down, go down on her. Turn the frost off. That's a funny story uh, that I want to tell you about this. But first I'll land and I will show you. Uh, basically, there were two abandoned cores and some um, half brain donut renamed them to no, no on some reason. Uh, Usually people, you know, rename it to empty, but uh, this donkey renamed it to no, no one some reason. And well, um, just a second in here. Then we do the gyro trick like so. See? And make sure you don't um, 
overcooked, I think. Not too fast. It is a little bit awkward to uh, land with this thing, but it'll work. It goes like the parachute landing with this, see? And then we can tilt it like so. And go like that. And look, it lights up the entire area. It's really nice. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> okay, uh, so. There were two uh, cores that were named No No on some reason. And if this person is watching, just listen and watch. Uh, first, let's get out of the cockpit. Uh, I just wanted to name uh, name it to something like uh, delete it or something like this, you know. Uh, where is my... Um, there, we need to link this one first. Set this link to container. But uh, then I just um, jumped to this score like that and I looked at the build thing and I was like, wait, what's this in here then? And then I just started looking at it. And I think it's here. Yeah, look at that. This half brain didn't even notice this in here. And look what's in here. Uh, there is some stuff in here. I already took one load out of here. There was some pyrite. Uh, that's the tier 3 ore. And there were some other ores in here worth at least like I don't know maybe like 20 million something like that and as you can see there is a lot of um, stuff in these so this numb nut didn't even notice any of that he's just like naming it no no and these are the kind of people who are too stupid to uh, delete the cores the other core it literally had little bit of voxels that weren't even hidden. I mean, look at that. Look how much stuff there is. That's actually really good because that's... Oh, yeah, that's good for the building. <coughs> and let's see what's in those. Oh, yeah, see? There is a lot of pure materials. Okay, see, they're still working, these machines. I need to stop them. Wait, what, what just started working? What was it? So, oh my god, I'm stuck on something. I heard something started working. No, there's nothing working. What was it then? Yeah, I got a bunch of screens from it and all that. I don't know if someone has actually taken something. I don't think they have taken anything. Or if he literally just left all this in here. Why would you leave that and then like name it some no-no? Uh, does it have anything in here? No. Yeah, it said zero. You have to stop all that anyway. Yeah, look, there's a lot of building um, materials in here. Is that a... Uh, retro rocket brakes. What is this making then? Long lights, really? Wait, there's something in the schematic bank, see? Only one? Why? I noticed this before. I don't know what's up with it. If it's some kind of a bug or something. Like, I noticed one other uh, building that I took over. Every single factory, I mean the assembly line or whatever, had just one schematic in them. I don't know what's up with that. But as you can see, this has um, quite a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, this container was all full, the XL one. XXL one, sorry. Uh, this one has some... Thank you, tier 2. Uh, what's that? Let's stop this one. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of it. But this video is about the uh, build. So I'm going to just empty all this out. And then I will see how it carries the weight. It should be a um, decent amount of weight to the hair once I salvage all this. So... Let's see uh, if there's anything on the other side. I don't think there is. But yeah, this was like an underground base and this no-no noob didn't even notice that there's all this stuff in here. 
Well, damn, there is a little bit of voxels left somewhere, and I believe this is the no no noob who doesn't know how to salvage stuff. Alright, so um, that's all the stuff I got from the second run. The first run was roughly about the same, to be honest. Maybe a little bit less, but more expensive materials. So let's see how this ship um, handles the load. Where is my um, cockpit? I mean, this is not much of a load. It, it'll lift it like super easily. I just need to put a bookmark. Alright, let's see how it's gonna do that. Wait, where's my uh, front end? I can't see anything. Actually, not that good. I thought it's gonna turn better because see, the way I have adjusters, see that? They all push, all eight of them. Wait, where's... Uh, can it... Where is the... Oh, mate. There we go, it's that way. Yeah, I thought it turns better. That's actually not that good at all. Might need more adjusters. Might put um, more of them. But let's see if it can um, lift the weight. What's it doing? Come on, go. Really? It won't lift it off the ground? Oh! Uh, that might be problematic! Go! Let's put this on. Okay, now it goes. Yeah, let's turn the gyro. There we go. Yeah, the lift is not that great. So, hmm, might need more uh, vertical engines. But it did get up, so it's not a problem at all, as you can see. Although I need to uh, decrease the thrust a lot, because it eats a lot of fuel, as you can see. I mean, it really does eat a lot of fuel. These military engines are insane. What is this then? But yeah, lift is not the issue at all. Might have to rethink about uh, how it takes off. <laughs> it didn't even uh, go properly, so yeah. And the maximum mass, as you can see, is 3 kilotons. But if it can lift this into the space, then it does exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to um, quite easily lift about 3 to 4 kilotons into space, so... And trust me, that space engine, once that kicks in, it'll go. Alrighty, let's see how I can land with this weight on it. Yeah, flying it is not a problem with this weight. It um, flies really nice, I have to say. It turns really nice too. And as you can see, braking distance is almost nothing. What do I need to do that now? Oh Jesus, I went in the wrong place! Why did it go so far up? What is this? I hope the brakes will be enough. Can it... Okay, it's doing... Oh! It should be fine. It should be fine. Come on. No, no, no. Where are you going? Yeah, the art shot doesn't really um, like to land um, in the water. It just goes a little bit cuckoo lala. But uh, I don't know. The adjusters, they should be more than enough. That's eight adjusters pushing it. And it doesn't really move. Eight large one, ones. So. But, well. It's not on the limit either. I think it can take a little bit more before it uh, becomes totally useless. Let's just go park it up, shall we? 
Yeah, see, that's how you can uh, fly without the uh, power of the thrusters, just based on the tilt of the build. Alright, let's land this uh, weird alien build. So, um... Oh my god, that slammed me! Why does the Arch Hot toss that? I thought the entire um, idea of the arch hut is to, um, you know, make it smoother. I hope it didn't break anything. No, it didn't. Uh, I'm not sure about this build yet. Further testing needed. But I wanted to show you the gyroscope thing before I end this video. How you do that is... Um, you go into the Lua editor, which is Control L. Then we go into the system, I believe. Yes, and then we make a new one, add filter. Uh, wait, where did it go? And then we make, uh, I'll just delete that one. On action start, that's what we do. And this is the button you choose, the hot key that you want. You choose from here, which one you want. Uh, landing gear is good for that, but uh, not with arch hot. And then, that's the code you need. That's all you need to toggle the gyro. So my booster button uh, toggles the gyro. So um, that's all I did with it. And that's how you can set the hotkey. But anyway, that's it for the first test flight. Once I um, improve it a little bit, or maybe not, maybe I'll just put it up for sale. Anyway, that's it for this time. So see you next time.